Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome in. Um, in today's video, I want to just talk about Pirate 101 and kind of my thoughts on what is all going on right now. I know I posted a video about the, you know, the test realm and about the update and how it was really disappointing. Still stand on that, by the way. But I've just kind of been sitting here marinating and kind of thinking, doing some reading here and there, you know, about just kind of what other people are saying. Getting kind of a feel on what the community thinks. I hope as a whole kind of getting a grasp on that. And just want to preface this. This is not a call out the devs kind of video. This is not a, hey, you guys suck at your job. It is not any of that. I do not have any of that sort of thing to say. I kind of just want to voice my thoughts and kind of what I see that other people are saying. And just kind of want to just kind of see what you guys think about an idea and sort of like what I've been thinking too. Ultimately, I think that this update was just one of the worst updates that Pirate 101 has ever gotten in terms of quality, in terms of gameplay, in terms of storyline, in terms of uh, assets used, um, in terms of bugs, just everything, all of the above. Um, and I voiced that, you know, on my stream while I was going through the test realm and stuff like that too. And once again, I completely understand wholeheartedly that the dev team is small. It takes a lot of time to do this stuff. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of resources. It takes a lot of energy. I completely understand that. I understand that the budget is not big. I get that too. But I just I just really feel like they could have done so much more than 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 what they did with Crocotopia and, and, and Zigzag and what and what they did. Ultimately, I just I just didn't, you know, I just I feel like it was rushed. I, it was very, very, very rushed. And I feel like they could have taken so much more time to bring a better quality update than just to get something out for the player base. And just looking at Atmoplex's posts, um, I, I'm kind of seeing some of the stuff that they, they've like said about like, you know, the Q&A that they had, and just like talking to some devs and like just kind of their thoughts on stuff. Um, apparently, because the Pirate 101 team borrows resources from the Wizard 101 team, the longer it takes to work on any Pirate 101 updates, the more it takes away from the Wizard 101 updates too. Um, it's again, I, under, I understand that. Like, I understand that that affects that and stuff too. But when you have a game like Pirate 101 with so much like potential in it, that, that time is worth it. Like, the time to put on that is, is worth it. Also, apparently an excuse as to why they just ported in stuff from, from Wiz is that they refused to use unused Crocotopia Islands only because they were too small for battle boards and textures are not nearly up to snuff. So I guess apparently they've used that excuse multiple times. It's just, I, I really think that this update caused a lot of players to be turned off by the game, honestly. I, I was really excited for it and hoping that it would be really good and just wasn't. And it ultimately turned me off from the game for a little bit too. Like, as you guys can see, I haven't really been doing that many pirate streams, uh, even less than I usually had. Um, you know, I, I, I usually do a video quicker after an update like I did when Never Tartarus came out. Um, because of all the new gear and like, you know, I actually did enjoy the Tartarus update, but this update was just nothing like that at all. Once again, just want to say again, I'm not calling out the devs. I, 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 I do not have any, any resentment or anything. I understand how hard it is whenever like the dev team was just completely de depleted and they had to build it up from scratch. I understand. But here's what I kind of want to, to see what you guys think. And you can tell me in the comments, um, tell me what you guys think here about this. What would you guys prefer? Would you prefer them to keep on just putting out content as quick as they can and it being something along the lines of how Crocotopia was and you're just like happy that we're getting content but ultimately it's just deteriorating the game and deteriorating the fan base of the game and the player base is I think is going to just keep decreasing based on the poor quality of the update or what I want and what I voice too on my streams I would like them to just take as much time as they need to get a bigger bigger a, a full world size high quality update i would be willing to wait the amount of time that it takes to get that taken care of and to get that implemented into the game than to sit here and wait oh you know like a, a few months for like a just a shitty update to to come out you know and just like a just a low quality update that has a ton of bugs honestly unplayable at some points uh, just tell me what you guys think i i really think that if if they took the time went in and just like you know did everything they could to make the highest quality, biggest update that they could for the game, I think that that would ultimately bring in more players and more revenue for the game because of the high quality and because of you can, how much you could hype it up and how much the hype would deliver if it was something really high quality and something that a lot of players have wanted. 
I think after seeing these two updates with Tartarus and Krakatopia, the vast differences between the two and how the quality from one, even though I get, I get it, they're both ported over Wiz areas, I still think the Tartarus update was a higher quality than the Krakatopia update. But kind of seeing these two updates just kind of be feeling rushed, like they're being put out, like especially Krakatopia, just rushed and, and all that stuff. I think that the game would benefit more with the devs taking the time to find all the assets they can use revamp them make it look good make the story just amazing make the combat good eliminate all the bugs i understand there's going to be you know some bugs here and there but eliminate the bugs that make the game unplayable and i i really think that that could help the game because you'd have the content creators to help hype it up and to help you know talk about what, what how big this update is going to be and to help get the word out and 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 everything like that and it could generate hype generate more players generate people buying more membership for the update because it's something worth buying a lot of people told me that whenever whenever they heard about this update and were watching the playthrough they were like you know i don't even want to buy membership to play this because it just doesn't seem like this worth time i think once again like i said tell me what you guys think in the comments but i think a bigger update where they really really hone in on making it a high quality update would be the best thing moving forward for them for the game and what king's out should do ultimately but again that's just what i think i just kind of wanted to voice my thoughts i was a little all over the place probably um but i hope you guys still enjoyed um make sure you guys go check out if you haven't seen it yet go check out the crocotopia playthrough and test realm to kind of see if you want to see kind of what it's like to play through it um and uh check out some of my other pirate 101 videos on the channel too um but yeah i that's all i have for you guys today hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and i'll see you guys next time peace